Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I will show you my favorite tool in Illustrator, which is called Image Trace. So let's get into the computer. The Image Trace feature in Adobe Illustrator is the quickest way to convert your image to vector format for high quality printing at any size. First, we need to find a picture for our project. I will find my picture in the internet browser and then I will search for beaver drawing. Click images. And then you can find the picture that you like the most. I like this one. And then let's see if we have one without text. Yes, there it is. To copy the image, you just right click and then you take copy image. To paste it into your Illustrator app, you can just click Command V. And there we have our picture. Click on Window and then find Image Trace to open up the Image Trace panel. With the image selected, click in the preview box to preview your effect. Under Mode, you can choose between color, grayscale and black and white. And since our image was colored, we will choose Mode Color. The first slider and the Image Trace panel control the amount of colors grays or thresholds depending on the mode you've selected. If this is too low, it might make your image too plain. And if this is too high, it can make your image too complex. However, this all depends on your specific image. And since we have a relatively simple image, we can take the color slider to the max of 30, as we have here. Next, click on the advanced dropdown to reveal some more options. First, there is a path slider. Having too few paths can distort your image or cause it looks boxy, while having too many paths can make the edges of your image very rough looking. For this image, I will go for 50%. Next, there is a corner slider. Less corners will make the paths of your image smooth, while more corners will make the path of your image a little more pointy. Depending on your image, adjust the corner slider until it's looking good. For our image, I will go for 80%. Finally, there's a noise slider. This tells Illustrator to ignore areas of your image that fit within the given pixel size. This means a higher number will actually result in less noise. However, if it's too high, important parts of your design could disappear altogether. For our image, we will go for 25 pixels. When it all looks good, close the advanced box and then close the image trace box. Click on object and then find image trace and then select expand. So now the picture is finally image traced. And it's up to you if you want to change the color of the image and if you want to remove the background. For this picture, we can remove the background here. And then if you want to choose another color on your uh, beaver, select the area, click on the color box, and then you can choose whatever color you want. I will try to find a good green color. today and don't forget to check out our YouTube channel for more tutorials. See you in next video, bye!